Assalamu alaikum ladies and gentlemen, this is me Anayata Fridi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Learning English with Anayata Fridi. In this lecture I will be talking about the difference between where to use preposition on and where to use preposition upon. And there is a clear difference between on and upon. In my previous lecture I discussed clearly that we use on in a situation when we have the physical contact between two boundaries, or two objects, or surfaces of two objects. Well, the story in this lecture is quite different. We use on in a situation when we talk about an object that is at rest position. If an object doesn't show any motion, a movement, that we use on. For example, the pin is on the book. I mean, this example, the pin doesn't show any motion and that is at rest position. And that's the reason I used on, on the book. For example, the book is on the table. Now in this sentence, the book is at rest position and it doesn't show any motion or movement. Well, the story about using upon is quite different. Upon is also a preposition, but it used in a situation when we talk about an object that is in motion. For example, an angry line bounced upon a cat or an angry cat bounced upon a rat. Now in these two cases, we have motion directed from the line to the cat. In the second case, we have the motion or movement directed from the cat towards the right. I mean, the objects in two sentences and reality show movement or motion. And that's the reason we use upon in such cases. Now, to make them easy and understandable, let me give just a short summary of that one. Use on in a situation when we talk about objects that are at rest condition, that don't show any motion. While use upon in a situation when we talk about objects or things that are in motion. Half the difference between on and upon is understood. Keep watching our video and do subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.